Aries, if something you were working on, something you were planning on, felt like it was put on hold, like it couldn't go any farther, you've got a change coming in and it is for the better. Those of you who have been waiting, wondering when is everything going to change, well, let's take a look at what your guides have to say right now for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aries, because it is showing to me that it's going to be very, very spectacular. Those of you who have been really planning, you've been going through all of these life changes where now you see who you are. Now you know what direction to go. And you may have already been going in that direction, but there's something that's like repressed, uh, this repressed energy that you've been in. That is what's getting ready to change. And all of that is because you've been working on yourself. You've been making progress little by little and they're saying it's taken a very long time for a lot of you to get there. However, now is the time for you to stand up and go forward. Now, remember, um, you have to face your fears. The five of wands is here. You have to face your fears in order to accomplish our sole purpose. And I feel for some of you, that's what you've been dealing with, where, where if you're supposed to be a public speaker, that will probably be the biggest fear that you have is standing up and talking to people, right? Whatever it is that you do, anything in life that you were meant to do for your sole purpose, there's this deep rooted fear and it goes way back. And that's how I've helped a lot of you in private sessions is pulling that out so that that fear is released. That's what I feel a lot of you have accomplished. And it's actually showing very, very promising. Some, some of those struggles that you had, especially if it had to do with family and friends, is gone. It's lifting. Now, it may have been returned when Mercury was in retrograde, but it's now direct. And in the month of May, there's something spectacular getting ready to show. Oh, look, you got the moon card. Okay, so even this last new moon may have shown you exactly what direction you needed to go if you didn't know. If you didn't know how to make that change in your relationship, the change in your business, in your career, project, whatever it is that you're working on. But there's this feeling of doom that I feel for some of you, like I just feel like Aries and as strong and powerful as you are, you're a fire element. You are filled with fire. Aries is my rising sign. So this is like really my real reading. Make sure you watch your sun, moon and rising, right? So it's, it's, we walk forward in our rising sign. So it's this really unbelievable amount of feeling doubt, feeling suppressed, and even some depression for some of you, where you may have thought that something was a lost opportunity because it took so long to get to you. But yet this moon may have revealed it, or you already saw it, and it gave you the confirmation of what you needed to do. You had to let go of the negative thinking, the negative people. And for some of you, I see there was one person that you held on to, one person. It may be the words that they said that were stuck in your craw and you couldn't get it out. So now stepping into this big, bold, beautiful, fiery element of you, it, it took a step back. However, you fought all of that. And now is this amazing time to grow it further. Between May and July, they're showing me May and July is when you're really going to take this to a new level and use this new moon energy. All of the planets are shifting and they're all shifting so that we, as each individual, can make these changes. This isn't just a human accomplishment and human growth. This is about your spiritual growth and accomplishment. This is sending to a new level in your spiritual being within, which is very profound when you look at the whole picture. So that's why people were triggered over the last several years. And it actually went much further back than that. But that's the main triggering we saw for a lot of us over the last three to four, maybe five, six years, where this triggering came in, meeting somebody and in a, a situation, an encounter of some kind that triggered you to start this journey coming out of the ego, 
and I don't feel ego in this reading. There may have been for you, there may have been for that one person, but the ego is definitely gone right now because you had to work really hard to make a decision and go further. And how the two of wands, choosing a path. Do you want to stay in the old way that you were or do you want to go up and change your lifestyle, your lifestyle, your career, your projects, your passion? And that's what I feel has been ignited for a lot of you. So this, I mean, commend yourself, okay, especially for those of you where it was a, like a lengthy break in your journey because that break is what caused a lot of the negative thinking, a lot of the doubt. That break is what allowed you to see what you couldn't see, the one missing piece. And some of you, that one person may have reached out and gave you an, a piece of information. They may have said something that kind of triggered some of you a little bit. I don't mean you went through the journey again, but it triggered you to say, oh, <laughs> okay, that's what I was gonna do. You're the reason I was gonna do this. Thank you for reminding me and it's time to go forward so the accomplishment your guides are saying well done well done now if you're new to my channel you guys i am guided in these readings i hear the messages and i see the visions and the knowing inside i pull the cards typically after i'm talking about it but you'll see me look to the left when it's the vision just so you have some background on me a psychic medium remote viewer highly attuned empath which has its pros and cons and those of you who are one you know what I'm talking about let's go ahead and take a look at career education projects if you do not if you're not working if you're retired or a stay-at-home person you're not employed you can look underneath the projects the best way to hear this is for you guys to be open-minded so that none of that old stubborn energy comes back in again the ego and I don't feel the ego is in this reading for you guys. This is like this big, huge growth around Aries. Now, I believe it was two, maybe it was February or March, but I know there was a couple of readings that I did for you guys where it was a similar message, where you were stepping into this new, beautiful, kind of like a rebirth energy of you bringing back your authentic self. And for some of you, it is definitely in your career and project sector. You have the Five of Cups, and the Five of Cups is crying, mourning, going through all the stages of grief over something that you lost, a job that you walked away from or were let go from. This loss of this project, this opportunity, is actually a blessing for you because you have two cups right behind you and it coincides with what i was talking about in the beginning of this reading where it's like you may have felt repressed in the career or in your project sector but there is justice coming in <laughs> i like that there is justice coming in and this justice is all about you remember justice has nothing to do with revenge revenge is repeating the cycle over and over again one person takes too much and this one gets stumpled on and then they want revenge. So this is justice where you're doing things in the way spiritually that are aligned with your mind, your body and your soul. And I do feel there's going to be some justice in this situation. And um, it may have really taken you for a spin. Okay, this this halt this stop of what you were doing however it is part of your wheel of fortune this is part of your destiny and remember aries you right now are rewriting your destiny from here forward we're literally starting a new spiritual cycle in our spirit in our inner body all right our soul never dies our soul goes on and on forever, but we go through these different cycles. You can call it going from the 3D to the 4D, and some of you are in the 5D, but whichever it is, we can bounce back and forth. We can go from one parallel to another and seeing different things and experiencing different things. But the point is, is we get to write the script of what we're doing. So if that job, if that project is ended for you, this is your time to just spin that wheel and go in the direction that you want. A lot of planning has come into this. This was a card that came out for you in the beginning of the reading, the Three of Wands. 
planning, preparing, and then you have to wait. And you have to have a lot of patience. And Aries, we don't have a lot of patience, right? There is like, I want it and I want it now because if you're passionate, like fire signs are, you want to go forward. You want to go out there. You want to grab it. And I feel for some of you, it has everything to do with this job, especially if it's an education. I see some of you may have been walking away from a career in education, and it may be the actual education you got to be the teacher, to be the trainer, to be the coach, okay? And you're walking away from it. It doesn't suit you. But the truth is, is I feel through this whole endeavor, you're going to see that it may very well suit you. However, it wasn't in the capacity of your soul's purpose. So there's been a repressed energy around you where now you're feeling, did I make a mistake? Do not doubt yourself. You didn't make any mistake you're rewriting your script, you're rewriting your career, your education, and your life purpose as you go forward. And each of those will lead to the sole purpose. Now, not only do I see education, but on the project side, I see um, it looks like uh, this may be more geared to people who are watching children, a parent who stays at home, a single parent who isn't working. But I see children around you where you might be looking at, um, they're saying neighbors, they're telling me neighbors, okay, going to the neighbors and getting all the neighborhood kids. Um, yes, I had four of my own children and having all those children around, it can be quite hectic and you might have needed to take a break and rethink things through. However, the new project still has an association with children. Whatever this is that you're going to do deeply involves our little people in it and this is going to be very exciting for you to move into this new direction and the beautiful part is is it's going to lead to prosperity it's actually going to lead to you know, we can call it abundance but i'm actually seeing the pentacles dropping behind in the background but again here's the two of wands you have a decision to make on how you want to do this you can take this situation, whatever you've been experiencing in these in this area of your life, and you can turn it around because remember, when you have this, this is all about what you want, the real you, not what other people are telling you to do. Those days are gone, okay? Those days are not coming back. You're doing what's right for you and knowing that justice, if you were fired from a job, if you walked away from a very um, I'm seeing this, uh, who, whoever walked away from this one place, oh, oh, is horrible, horrible work environment. So you said, I'm out of here. And who would blame you? They probably don't even blame you, right? I mean, they know what they do. So they probably don't even blame you. And most likely they were doing it intentionally. Justice means that you're taking the right action at the right time and not trying to get revenge. So just know that this is the year as some of you want to call it karma, this is the year of karma, right? That's where we are right now as we are in 2024 rolling into 2025. So there's some powerful messages here with our beautiful um, Aries. I mean, like really the, the full force of the fire in you. You know, you're that beautiful fire sign like we were just talking about. Now, let's take a look at your family and friends because I do see that one person. I have a strong feeling for a lot of you. It is family. And then when we're done with that, we're going to look at romance and I will give you the final guided message at the end of the reading. Okay. So, you guys, it's just like, see, somebody needed to do some healing here. We got uh, the star card on the bottom. That's all about profound, deep inner healing. And when we're done, we get this beautiful cosmic divine reward. And that's what I feel is going on for you. Now, when it comes to family and friends, we have the Prince of Swords that just fell out. That can be a uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra individual. Again, we have the Queen of Swords. Some of you completely severed ties and it is with your family. I feel you had to let go of your family and that may have just come into uh, the forefront for, for some of you with this new moon or maybe the full moon. That was not too long ago, just a couple weeks ago, right? But 
as you go forward, you're going to hear something about this particular person. Some of you, it definitely was two people that you walked away, and I'm seeing 3 4. It's like a whole family. You walked away from everyone. Leave us a comment if that was you. Did you leave them so that you could start a life that was more fruitful for you in your own personal journey of what you're meant to accomplish? Because being opposite of each other. They don't see what you see. And you see much further than a lot of other people because you are who you are, because you're spiritually enlightened. And I'm not saying completely awoke to the reality of life and earth, but I am saying that you have grown. You are not on the same. They're here, you're here. Okay, you guys do this. <laughs> you do this all the time. You know what I mean? And it caused a lot of arguing, the five of wands again. So you've got this energy of a lot of conflict going on. And you're going to see five, 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 five everywhere. Because that's your number for the entire month of May rolling into June for some of you. But the six of wands is right next to it. So it's absolute progress. After the struggle with these one or two or even the three or four people, the vision is showing me three to four people. You're going to feel amazing. And that may be why anything else that's going on in your life that was put on hold, that's why. Because you needed to just release and let go and heal and go through the stages of grief because no matter what even if we lose a job if we lose a person it doesn't matter how or why we lose loss is loss and we have to go through the mourning cycle and that's what i feel for some of you definitely have done or you've wrapped it up okay now whoever this person was i feel they were the one that was very deceptive, and i'm seeing one individual particularly they look like a male, but it can be a female as well. They lied a lot. They were the liar. They would say things in the family. And I feel you were the one that they were lying about. You know, the scapegoat. Like they would just blame everything on you. In this particular situation, it looks like there was a lot of misplaced blame and misplaced anger. And a lot of it caused that conflict on you where you're like hey that's not what happened that is not what happened at all don't you want to hear my side of the story and they're like no we don't want to hear your side of the story we believe that person and that person held a lot of power so you had to you had to take your queen of swords and cut them off some of you it was in a legal battle that you had to go through but again you've got this six of wands so if you're waiting for this legal battle to end, I'm seeing it's going to wrap up for some of you. It definitely looks like in June. Now, it doesn't mean necessarily completion, although I did say the word wrap up. They're showing me a document. A document is going to come in that is going to lead to the closure. That may be the final piece. And for some of you, it will have notification of the grand finale of this particular situation that's going on. For another group of you, it looks like a sister, okay? I feel you were dealing with a sister, a cousin. It could be a mother, but it is definitely a female and even a female friend. It, it could be any of those. But whoever this person was, was like a frenemy to you. It is somebody that you know very, very well. And I feel there was a lot of love for this individual. And you may have been very honest with them, but they were not honest to you or about you. So whatever is going on in this family situation, again, you're going to feel very victorious about this whole situation, whether that be that scenario or something else. There's just like this huge amount of uplifted energy. And a lot of you should be feeling right now a little bit more energized, especially if this one person or even the group is no longer around you. Because we can't have them around us if we're trying to build or rebuild our lives and put their input, which doesn't, again, it's that hit and, hit and miss kind of energy. So let's take a look at your romance, okay? I feel for some of you, this is definitely a romantic situation that is no longer in play. You may have walked away from your partner. You're definitely thinking about it in the month of May. But I am going to tell you that over the next six-eight weeks, six to eight weeks, 
you're making a very big decision on this particular situation. Are you going to get it finalized? You know, we have this uh, documentation. Um, you're just worn out. You've got the nine of wands here. Let me finish pulling the cards. You have the nine of wands here where you, you're just, you're tired. Look, you're just exhausted of your relationship, of your partner, of the things that are taking place. Some of you, it's for not, it's, it's more like, I never feel like me. I lost my identity in this relationship and I'm trying to pull that energy back. And you just, you recognize I can't do it. There's too much conflict there. The five of wands, again, uh, five of swords, again, a different deck, right? So we have three fives on the board, which means there is a lot going to change for the zodiac sign of Aries. Now we have you walking away right here. Okay. I love you. I, I don't want to do this, but I need to go find myself. And that may be your partner who's saying that to you for some of you, but whether it's you or them, there is this detachment. Okay. This separation. Some of you, it might even be a separation under the same roof where you're sleeping in different sides of the home, sleeping in different rooms. One side is on this, uh, one person's on this side of the house. The other person's on this side of the house. I just see that the two of you don't look at each other. Your backs are toward each other where you're not even paying attention. It's like, oh, were they in the room? <laughs> I didn't even notice. And again, reiterating what I was seeing about somebody feeling like you're invisible in your partner's eyes or vice versa. But this beautiful card of five, okay, we have another five right here. This is about your relationship. This is about your belief system is changing. And some of you may have stayed in this relationship a lot longer than you had planned on. However, now your ideas are changing. Your belief systems are changing and it's all for the better. It is going to serve you well. Now, some of you will follow through with the, uh, the ending of this relationship, while others of you are going to be able to gain some clarity. It may be through a minister. It may be through a local community. It's showing me like a group center, a group chat, a group uh, counseling session, but it is a group where people are talking about whatever they're dealing with. So if you're dealing with somebody who drinks quite a bit too much, you know, and they like to be the life of the party and they are not uh, filling their end of the bargain of the relationship, that would definitely be a case where we could see that. But it could be anything because this is more about the traditions and beliefs of the relationship. This card indicates marriage, following the traditional beliefs of marriage, the traditional beliefs of how two people should act and be in a relationship, but your version is now changing, saying um, we're equal, okay? It may be going even further than that for another group of you. But one thing's for sure, there is a change in your relationship front, and I feel for the majority of you, you're gonna absolutely let probably every one of you. Are you one of those people going through this divide? Are you going through this change? Are you one of those people who is ending a situation where you felt in, invisible, leave us a comment, okay? Now, those of you who are single, you might be tired because everybody you're meeting just isn't working out, <laughs> okay? It's like shocker, right? Um, all of these situations, it's like I really like them and it only goes so far and then I see you walking away. Uh, you put in so much time and then it's like you're just not getting it back. The change that I see coming is going to affect you tremendously because you're getting ready to meet somebody because now you're open. Now, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. When I was single, my kids would say, oh, oh, mommy, that guy was looking at you. And I'm like, what? What, what guy? You know, because I'm all trying to save money to buying the right thing because I was a single mom trying to manage everything, right? And I wouldn't even see him. Like, I couldn't see them. They'd be three feet away from me and I couldn't see them because I was so blocked from love because I had this. That's what I dealt with, right? And that's what I feel a lot of you are dealing with where you went through the same kind of energy in your past. And it's like, how do I even feel up to it? This is going to be an out of the blue by chance 
situation it may very well be in the grocery store where you're going to meet this individual and everything you thought about is getting ready to change holding strong in your traditions and values of what you accept and who you accept in your life that's what i see is the primary focus underneath the relationship and it's just all relationships it isn't just romance it's like you have grown that much where you will not tolerate anything less than what works and meshes with your life so job well done right job well done all right i'm going to give you the last piece of message for you guys and again i'm being guided to tell you you've done a remarkable job in your life thus far you have grown you have changed you have created a new destined path and because of that you have i am uh leading you toward the answer to your prayers please listen and follow the steps i am communicating through your intuition thoughts and dreams. I can't read this card because it's really light to read. Um, the light is shining on it. We have walked with you your entire life and yet there are times you still doubt. We know you were tired. We saw it, but you didn't ask us for help. We don't care why you didn't ask us. What we do care about is that you know we're still here for you. If you've been feeling defeated in love, in relationships of all kinds, if you've been feeling like you aren't being heard, you are. But sometimes you're not listening to us. You're not hearing us as we talk inside of your head, as we tap this the shoulder, the top of your shoulder. You're not listening to us as we flash these numbers when you ask a question and we say yes. Call upon us and pay very close attention. We will guide you through every step of your journey and it will be remarkably in sequence for what you want. Thank you. And that is your guided message. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Much love.